In today's tech review, I'm going over the new Zungle Viper Bluetooth sunglasses with built-in bone conduction speakers that let you play music wirelessly through your skull without covering your ears. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV. And before we start today's review, I would like to say a quick thank you to Zungle for sending me their new Zungle Viper sunglasses to review and share with you guys. And of course, as always, if you'd like to learn more about these particular sunglasses after the video, I'll link down below where you can find them online, as well as my full list of their pros and cons. The Zungle Vipers are the second generation of Zungle smart sunglasses, with their built-in bone conduction speakers that let you enjoy your music without covering your ears, giving you the ability to hear your nearby surroundings. Completely wireless, these sunglasses are built with Bluetooth 5.0 technology and allow you to pair them with your smartphone for discreet, wire-free listening. Their Bluetooth range is rated for 30 feet or 10 meters. They also have a dedicated AI voice control button that gives you one-click AI voice control with voice assistants such as Siri and Google Assistant. And with the built-in microphone, they also allow you to take hands-free phone calls for when you're driving. And you can actually use these sunglasses microphone and voice control in combination so that you can listen and follow your AI's voice navigation without ever having to look at your phone screen. So in terms of the battery life of these sunglasses guys, they actually have a 115 milliamp hour lithium battery with a battery life rated for 4 hours of music playtime and it's also rated for 100 hours in standby mode. When it comes to recharging these sunglasses guys, they actually do come with a USB charging cable to recharge them on one end and on the other end of the cable they do have pogo pin charging cables which you simply attach right to the end of each side of the frame. So as you can see there are little pins right there. You simply plug in the other side, one to each side of the frame, plug that in. You then just plug in the USB to your computer or laptop or USB power adapter and it takes about one hour to recharge these sunglasses until they're fully charged again. And as you can see, when you're charging the sunglasses, the LED indicators will be red, and when the sunglasses are fully charged, the LED indicators will then turn blue. So in terms of the design, these sunglasses actually come in a couple of different color options. They come in matte black, matte gray, and matte white. These ones right here are actually the matte black version here. And as you can see, each of those frames comes with a base color lens, but you can actually swap out these lenses for other color lenses. I believe they have up to eight color lenses on their website. Colors such as purple, green, ocean blue, black, many different color lenses you could swap out if you wanted to. And one good thing about all their lenses guys is that they are UV 400 polarized so they will protect your eyes when you're outside in the sun. So in terms of the look and the feel of these sunglasses, I will say that they have a nice matte finish to them. These have a nice black matte finish to them. And if you're like me and you don't like glossy items or glossy accessories, then you might like this for the matte finish. It is actually also IPX4 rated, weather and splash resistant meaning that they will be protected against light splashes and also your own sweat if you happen to be working out while you're wearing these, whether you're running or riding a bike. These, the speakers on these sunglasses frames are protected against your sweat. Now, one of the cons of these sunglasses, guys, is that although they are light coming in at 50 grams, I will say that they do feel a little bit heavier in hand and on your head compared to regular sunglasses such as Ray-Bans or other types of sports sunglasses. Not only that, but unfortunately they do feel they do actually look rather a little bit bulky on the side of the frames as you can see and I believe that makes sense because they have to fit in the speakers on those sides of the frames which means that they have to be a little bit wider unfortunately as a result of that. Now when it comes to actually wearing these actual sunglasses I will say that they do feel a little tight on my head in the temple area when I put them on. Now I don't know if that's because I just have a big head which I actually do or if it's because like I said, the speakers have to be close and tight to your temple so that the bone conduction technology can work. That may be a factor as well. So it may be intentionally designed that way so the bone conduction speakers can more effectively reach your skull. But because of that, if that is the case, it does feel a little bit tight on my temples. So that is a trade-off you will have to consider for the cool technology. So here are the sunglasses actually on my head, guys, as you can see right here. You know, they stay on your head well. They don't fall down. I will say that when you're wearing them. You don't have to worry about them falling off because like I said, the sides of the frames are actually a little tight against the temples on my skull. Now I will say after wearing them now for about 15 minutes, uh, testing them out with music and everything, I will say that, you know, they're not feeling as tight anymore. I'm getting a little more used to them, but still they are a little tighter than regular uh, sunglass frames. But if you want to get a close-up look, guys, this is how they look on the side. You know, you may think they're a little wider, the frames, than other sunglasses. You may not. It may be up to you and your preference, but I do like the black matte finish. Uh, you know, in terms of the lenses, in case you're wondering, I don't think you can see through the eyes. Maybe you can, but I think it's a reflective lens, 
And like I said, they are UV 400 polarized, so that's also a nice touch as well. So when you first take these sunglasses out of the box, you're gonna wanna charge them for an hour like I just showed you. After they're fully charged, you're gonna wanna power them on. The power button is located on the bottom of each sunglass frame, each side. So if you click on the little frame there, hold down each side for two seconds, hold that down, and you should see the sides of the frame. They just lit up right there. So right now they're in pairing mode. When they're blinking very rapidly like that, that means that they're in pairing mode. So now that they're in pairing mode, you simply have to go over to your phone and go into your phone's Bluetooth settings and refresh it to scan. So right now it's scanning for the new device, these sunglasses right here. And there it is where it says, if you could see there, it says Got Zungle. That's the one. So if you click on that, Got Zungle, it's now pairing, it says. And the rapid blinking LED indicator should stop in just a second. All right, and now on my phone it says Zungle connected. So the sunglasses have now connected to my smartphone. They're now paired, and the LED indicator pairing mode has turned off. You're, they're now ready and set to go. So you can now put these on, and now I'm gonna test these for the first time with you guys actually here. It's pretty crazy. Right from my phone, right from Apple Music, straight to these sunglasses. I never thought I could hear music without anything on or over my ears. Again, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's pretty crazy. I can hear it clearly. <laughs> Definitely a new experience. I've never tried bone conduction uh, speakers, like I said. It really is almost like background music. It's like, it's like there's some speakers like right here outside of your ears. Not quite on your ears, but you're, you're kind of in the area of the music. Maybe you can hear that a little bit. Maybe you can hear that a little bit. I don't want to put it too close to the mic. I don't want to get, you know, music copyright strike for that reason, but definitely when they're on your, on your head, you could definitely hear the music. Um, it's definitely a pretty cool experience. So if I could put it best, I would say these sunglasses give you kind of like some nice background music. So think about it if you're like on an elevator and you hear that background music playing in the background, or if you're at a store and you hear background music playing, it's kind of like that. It's not completely, you know, full blasting sound or full bass, but it definitely gives you some background music um, in your head. Really, you can hear it while it's still being discreet, and I like that about these glasses. Lastly, they do include the, basically, the Zungle Viper manual, and it's pretty simple. It just walks you through from the moment you get it out of the box to all the functions. Like it shows here, you do have several different button control that you can control right from the sunglasses here. There are buttons located on the bottom side of the sunglass frame. Don't know if you could see that. It's really small. It's right over there. Basically, it says it lets you power on and off the sunglasses. It lets you have an AI button if you want to use it with Siri or Google Assistant. Also has a volume up and volume, volume down button has a play and pause button, a rewind button, and a fast forward button. So you definitely have a lot of functionality with these sunglasses. Once they're on, you simply tap those buttons. You can move forward or backward in songs, pause music. If you need to get some AI assistance with Google or Siri, just click that as well, and you're basically good to go. So again, guys, I'm not exactly sure how the bone conduction technology works. I'm not sure how that actually functions. In fact, I was actually a little bit skeptical myself at first before I actually tried these on. But I have to say now, after testing it, listening to some music, connecting it via Bluetooth to my Apple Music uh, app and playing them on the actual bone conduction speakers, I will say that it does work. I was actually pleasantly surprised. The sound's very clear. Now, I do wanna briefly mention who I feel these sunglasses are most ideal for and also who I feel they're not as ideal for. So I would say most of all these sunglasses are most ideal for someone who's looking to uh, listen to music or podcasts or audiobooks discreetly without anyone knowing that they're listening to music or podcasts. Also, I would say if you happen to be wanting to listen to music or podcasts, but you don't want to cover your ears, if you want to keep your ears open and free because you don't like things covering your ears, or you just want to be able to be aware and alert of your nearby surroundings, then these sunglasses also give you that option. Now, who would I say these sunglasses are not as ideal for? Well, I would say they're not as ideal for someone looking for some fuller sound or some heavier bass because these sunglasses are more designed for some background music but if you want some fuller sound and heavier bass, you're probably gonna to wanna to stick to regular over-ear or on-ear headphones. Secondly, I will say, if you're just looking for a pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes in the sun, and you don't really care about music, listening to podcasts in the background discreetly, then you probably don't need these because like I said, 
you know, they are a little bulkier, they feel a little tighter on my temples than regular sunglasses, and I think, like I said, that's because of the bone conduction technology. The bone conduction speakers have to be pretty close to your skull for you to get the most out of it. So, like I said, these are ideal for someone who needs, who wants to be able to listen to music discreetly. But if you just want sunglasses and you don't want to listen to music, then you're probably better off with just a regular pair of sunglasses. Again, if you would like to learn more about the Zungle Viper sunglasses, I'll link down below where you can find them online, as well as my full list of their pros and cons. And as always, if you have any questions about these particular sunglasses, definitely feel free to leave your questions down below in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those questions for you. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.